Sensors with integrated can open interface, commissioning in just a few clicks. Hello, today I would like to introduce you to the commissioning of our Kenopen sensors. I have brought along an ultrasonic sensor and a radar sensor as an example. The components we need for commissioning are the sensors themselves, a USB to CAN converter, a distributor with integrated terminator, and the power supply. When the power supply is switched on, the status LED flashes green-red. This means that the sensor on the bus has not yet been initialized. To connect the sensor via our Kenopen engineering tool, click on the Connect button. Make sure that the correct EDS file has been implemented as a driver file for the sensor in the program. The sensor is now connected to the tool, and we can see that the green LED is flashing. The sensor is now set to operational mode by starting the node. And we can see that the green LED is permanently lit. Now we can parameterize the sensor. In the object directory on the left hand side, we can see the communication segment and the manufacturer segment. The communication segment that I am now opening up here is a standardized segment that is provided by the CIA 301 specification. Here, you will find all the different setting options for parameterizing the sensor with the CAN bus. The manufacturer segment is the manufacturer's own segment. The process data and measurement modes are set here. And this is done by opening the individual objects and via the parameterization. A very important part of CanOpen parameterization is the mapping of process data objects, so-called PDOs. We can see this on the PDO configuration tab. Two PDOs are currently mapped here, the distance PDO and the signal quality PDO. If we now want to map further PDOs, for example, we drag and drop this PDO and drag it into this table on the right. As an example, I have now also mapped the velocity here. To activate this, we increase the number of mappable objects and write them to the device. We can now see which process data is sent via the process data telegram. In this case, it is the identifier. This means how the sensor answers to the bus, in this case with its Note ID 16. The transmit PDO1 and the data that is sent via a telegram, which in this case is the distance, the signal quality, and the velocity. You can also visualize the whole thing using an object monitor. In this case, the PDO object monitor. By activating the distance, we can now see that the sensor measures a distance to the wall from here. In this case, a distance of 5 meters 50. And now, we can see our cameraman moving towards and away from the sensor and we can measure the different distance values here. That's it from my side. If you have any questions, please feel free to contact us.